To those that have been with us for a while, you know that the Casuals base is here in the great city of Tokyo, Japan. And Tokyo is considered one of the fashion capitals of the world. And for good reason, some of the most influential street and designer labels come from this city and country, for lack of a better phrase. Anyway, a good many of them have been so influential this past decade that we needed a list to celebrate them. So I'm your boy, Reggie Casual, and these are the top 10 Japanese brands of the decade. Told you, we're gonna get right back into it. Let's get it. FR2, or fucking rabbit, sorry for the bleep, has been a return to form for Japanese classic streetwear, taking on a particularly salacious approach. Brand runner Bio Ishikawa often photographs his lookbook himself, which more often than not features gravure nude models, which is awesome. The brand has seen incredibly fast growth in Asia and is known for its now famous Smoking Kills graphic tee. Sakai has always been at the forefront of design and approach, but it could be said that the brand hadn't received the recognition it deserved until recently after looking at its collaborations with Nike. This has still not lessened the brand's influence as it is one of the few Japanese labels that is 100% owned by its designer, Chitose Abe, who continues to show incredible prowess through each collection while at the same time dishing out incredible collabs with Nike, of course, North Face, and Pendleton, among others. Human Made had bumpy beginnings. Nigo's second label was met with criticism because of its extreme departure from a bathing ape in lukewarm water, or bape, and a noticeably less hip hop tone. Time would prevail, however, as more and more style veered towards classic Americana and normcore, and eventually, Human Made became a hit, garnering a sizable fan base. A couple of tasteful collabs with Adidas, Converse, and peculiar ones with KFC, and nearly a decade later, Human Made is a Japanese mini powerhouse. What can be said about United Airs and Sons except that it's amazing. Part of the UA group and spearheaded by Motofumi Kogi, Pogi the man, United Arrows and Sons works officially as a select shop, but it shines most with its namesake internal label that combines Japanese traditional fashion, expert craftsmanship, amazing texture, and attention to detail, so much so that if you don't visit while you're in Tokyo, you're missing out on one of the best curated shops in the city actively asking men not to abandon the lifestyles they loved while growing up, but to refine them and make them more palatable as their aptitude and thoughtfulness increases. Mastermind's return to form has been both pretty and admittedly ugly to watch. While many tilt their head at its more lax approach to collabs, a great many more enjoy how the brand has returned to its roots on its main line, dishing out classic Mastermind looks that equates itself as the brand that did Fear of God before Fear of God. While brand runner Masaki Homma took a break from the brand for a while, his return, while heavily criticized, showcases how a classic brand can still maintain itself while reinventing itself at the same time. Plus, we got Mastermind World. For a time, CE, Cab Amp, was crowned the next king of streetwear until brand runners Toby Feltwell and Skate Thing decided it was not going to be that kind of streetwear brand. Scoffing at the idea of extreme global expansion, CE is notoriously hard to get, but only because it positions itself as what streetwear originally was, viciously local. This cult status has garnered it praise and ire only because the pieces are consistently amazing, but nearly impossible to get outside of Japan. But the brand is still incredibly ridiculous, it's amazing, and that's why it makes this list. Neighborhood has always been a classic brand in Japan and could make the list next decade as well. But this decade in particular, Neighborhood has likely quadrupled its sphere of influence. It's making huge inroads in China and Southeast Asia with its IT-backed hoods retail locations, giving the brand incredible exposure with more collaborations, some inviting and some not. But to deny Neighborhood's status as a powerhouse this decade would be an utter falsehood. Here's to Shinsuke Takizawa, and another 10 years. Undercover could make this list forever. New Warriors, Clockwork Orange, Nosferatu aside, Undercover has kept itself in view with collabs with Nike, Supreme, Verdi, Converse, Off-White, and even Uniqlo, all of which had successes of varying degrees. But it showcases Jun's ability to weave his way into everything while keeping the label exclusive. As said before, on this very channel, Undercover could be the best Japanese label of all time for its effortless ability to combine street and runway collections that don't deviate from its premise. 
Imagine becoming so influential because of a font that brands like Undercover, Nike, Human Made, Union, Uniqlo, and even Amazon are clamoring for you. Imagine having an entire weekend dedicated to your very existence because you've become so wildly popular. Now imagine you've done all of this without actually having a website that sells your products. Like your brand only exists existentially in pop-ups and collabs. That's what Verdi did with Girls Don't Cry. And for that reason alone, he's the single most influential individual in streetwear in Japan right now, full stop. Probably even more than Hiroshi Fujiwara. Eh, maybe not more than Hiroshi Fujiwara. And he's not even a brand, but he has a brand and he's making waves. Everything until this point has been amazing. It's been on point, but we all know the truth. Dover Street Market, Junya Watanabe, CDG Converse, CDG Black, $200 million evaluation, and counting, Rei Kabakugo's Comme des Garçons is Japan's bona fide, undeniable brand of the decade, spearheading the careers of a few on this very list. CDG has done more this decade than everybody else. CDG Play is worldwide phenomenon till this day, mainline collections are literal lessons that every fashion student has to study. Junya Watanabe is a damn genius. They opened up a CDG streetwear shop because they can, and, has a Met Gala just for icing on the cake. No brand has had such an impact as common. That's probably not even up for debate, but I'm sure someone will debate it and they would most likely be wrong. Cause you gotta take a stand somewhere. CDG, Comme des Garçons, is Japan's brand of the decade. In any case, those are the brands from Japan that made the decade. Now, a few honorable mentions definitely go out to Doublet, giving us much needed eccentricity in streetwear, double taps for keeping it consistent, and Hiromichi Ochiai's Fasitasm, just to name a few. And those are our 10 for Japanese fashion, but let us know what you think or what we missed in the comments. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video, follow on Instagram for the latest out of Japan and beyond, but most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture. From Tokyo, it's your boy, and keep it casual. Yoroshiku onagaishimasu, and I'll see you guys in a minute.